Given that Mr. Meyer had been declared ineligible to participate in the Olympic Winter Games up to and including 2010, due to his involvement in blood manipulation offences that were committed at Salt Lake City, the IOC fulfilled its responsibility last night to conduct anti-doping controls on athletes who might have been under his influence. Olympic Village and ends with the closing ceremony of the Games, and who is an employee in the Ministry of Health, and he is our, he is our colleague. It was not our business at all. To two totally di different, uh, separate actions based on independent decisions taken in our case with respect to conducting doping controls, in the Italian authorities' case with respect to taking action or not, and they decided to take. Which uh, was introduced uh, at the Athens Games are conducted on our behalf by WADA people, and those are the doping control officers reported at this time uh, uh, the um, it is the routine of uh, international federations, I hope in general, and certainly by the IOC, to make target testing. Uh, that's perfectly normal and to be expected. So um, I think the Austrians, uh, Austrian, uh, Aus the behavior of the Austrians in Salt Lake City or the Austrian coach and doctor and other people around invited suspicion. And, and we took action and we have taken action. What are you going to do with athletes who leave the country? Are you going to extradite them? We have started with the, 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 the procedures. But he's not a criminal. We are, we are, we, we are trying to find him. But uh, in, uh, he is uh, uh, an Austrian citizen. There is in particular, in particular, uh, in particular investigation for him. He was, he, he uh, booked a place in this residence, in this, uh, but uh, yesterday he was present. So you're not looking to arrest him, you're looking no, to no. determine what activities no, are going there on is, around no, them? No, no, no. Later, Bass, you gotta take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Is that you calling me? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, it's going to depend what they found, yeah. and and uh, as far as the athletes are concerned, it's going to depend, uh, you know, on, on what the tests show. I, I do think the message is that uh, you know the sports movement and the public authorities are prepared to work together and can work together to try and keep competitions clean. Mm -hmm.